Hi there, my name's Nick and I'm a qualified nutritionist. I'm doing this short video on the subject of mono meals. For those of you who don't know, mono meals are when you just take one type of food and have that for the whole meal. So you might just have just a whole watermelon for breakfast, for instance, or just a, a smoothie made just out of bananas. The general thinking within aspects of the raw vegan community as well as some parts of the more general vegan community is that these are regarded as being quite a good thing as far as nutrient absorption is concerned. However, I think it depends upon what you're actually looking for. As far as nutrient absorption is concerned, mono meals don't cut the mustard, so to speak, because you do need a balance of different types of foods that actually acts or interacts together to provide you with a greater ability to be able to absorb the various nutritional components of the food itself. For instance, adding oil to a food containing a great quantity of fat soluble vitamins and minerals would be a great way of ensuring that your upper digestive tract, your duodenum, could actually go through the process of getting those important nutrients straight into the bloodstream so that you can actually do its work in the body. So mono meals won't necessarily provide you with that. And honestly, you'd have to think very carefully about your nutritional balance over a period of time, namely a few days and a few weeks. If you think about it, if you're only having, let's say, three meals in a day, and you're only having one type of food for each meal, the quantity of variety you're having in that one particular day will not take into account all of your requirements of your micronutrients and macronutrients, and it could therefore be quite a bad thing. However, there is one particular instance in which it is a very good thing, and that's for a short-term detox cleanse. If you were to work out which particular forms of food to have on each particular day, and you were to do mono meal eating, you could actually end up with a much better detoxification effect of your body. Provided, of course, you're choosing high fiber, high water content foods. So in your mornings, you go for the more rapidly digestible foods. Maybe at lunchtime, you go for a slightly slower digestible food, and in the evening, you go for an even slower digestible food. Now, why is that? It's because your digestive system is basically a long tube. You don't want to put a food which goes through your digestive system very slowly first thing in the morning, and then something which goes through it much faster after that because you could end up with a bit of a blockage, a bit of an impaction, and therefore the opportunity for there to be rotting, decay, fermentation, the development of mold and unpleasant things within your digestive system would become much higher. This is one of the reasons why we typically have our uh, fibrous cereals in the morning in the Western world. Why? Because they go through the digestive system relatively quickly. There's nothing wrong with having high fiber foods throughout the day, but you go for your higher fiber earlier in the morning. If you can expel more waste through your digestive tracts more quickly and therefore increase the quantity of bowel movements you have, the likelihood of there being the accumulation of uh, forms of debris or toxicity within your abdomen would be greatly reduced. So you may want to build a routine if you are interested in doing mono meals of let's say once every three months, spend maybe one or two weeks considering a mono meal program and basically just seeing how well you do. But considering the idea of mono meals continually, uh, basically forever, for an extended period of time, that really doesn't make all that much in the way of sense. So work out uh, whether you're thinking more in terms of your nutritional intake, in which case you actually need to, to mix and blend your foods and actually have very good food combining skills, or whether you're going for digestive transits and eliminating toxins. When you're building a diet program, it's worthwhile thinking about a particular goal you're trying to reach and seeing whether you can dedicate a period of time to reaching that goal. Whether you've got a particular nutritional deficiency, whether you're working on a particular health problem and choosing your foods accordingly for that particular purpose. Yes, detoxification is very important in my humble opinion and so something which can increase your digestive transit is a good thing but you also don't want to starve the body of some of its important basic macro and micronutrients.